hello and welcome back again to another video in today's video we're going to look at the what are some of the things that are updated in the nightly build of 84c227 c0 well it was updated yesterday and today so mostly the things that are updated are the nodes so when you launch the olive video editor in the project window when you select the project window you can see that there are four new nodes that added to the node editor let's zoom in so hold on control and the middle mouse button to zoom in so let's look at the notes here so in the um, node editor you can see that one of the notes is the root folder the project settings and the uh, portage viewer so today we're going to look at the uh, root folder node here so the root folder node here is attached to the project window for example anything that we created or imported onto the project window is attached to the root folder so if we expand this uh, root folder you can see that it have uh, children there so again this root folder is the project window and anything that is inside is the children that is attached to the root folder so if we go to the parameter editor you can see that nothing has been connected to these um, children here so if we creating a new sequence so to create a new sequence let's right click new and sequence and so when we do that you can see that uh, in the parameter editor one element has been added which is the sequence here again when we're creating the sequence again as we're creating the video track so in here you can see that we have created a video track and an audio track connected to the sequence and rooted onto the root folder in the project window so in the previous build the viewer is the one that um, display the sequence on the timeline but in this update you can see that everything is in the sequence so if we expand the sequence you can see that we have exactly the same thing in the previous build which is under the viewer we have the same thing the texture which helps to display the image or the text on the sequence uh, viewer here and then the samples video tracks and audio tracks and subtitle tracks which are all connected to this video track and the audio track here so we ex uh, minimize this again and now let's say we want to um, import a video clip into the project window let's import a video clip into the project window so when we imported the um, video clip onto the project window you can see that the video clip itself inside the project window is attached to the root folder so again if you select the root folder and go to the uh, parameter you can see that there are two elements which is one is the sequence and one is the video clip that we just imported onto the uh, project window now if we bring this um, importing this um, video footage to the timeline you can see that uh, it creating some more nodes in line with what is available or attached to the um, tracks here and another new notes that's been added is the uh, footage node here so let's unlink the clip here so ctrl l to unlink them so you can see on the timeline the color of the clips that are on the timeline has been changed you can change that by a right click and color now anything that you do to this on the clip that is on the um, timeline the notes that represent the clip will also change for example if we change the audio clip here to another color you can see that it changed that and also the video clip so you can see that it changed the color here also the color on the notes so here again in the uh, notes you can right click and label that you can change the color so let's look again at this top node here which is the footage node representing everything that is on the timeline so selecting that in the parameter you can see that it has the video track and the audio track here so in the video track you can see that the, the footage have the color space here so when you change the uh, preset here you can see that it's affecting the um, the image on the sequence viewer so these are some of the things that have been uh, updated and then especially to do with the nodes so uh, hopefully uh, there will be some changes more to this so it is not a final as it is an alpha version we we'll look forward to some of the things that will be changing as they develop or develop new things on the nodes or in the whole uh, interface itself so that's all for this video thank you for watching and hope to see you all in the next one